Hello everyone. Today I wanted to compare the Sailor fountain pens that I own. So I have two of the what I'm going to call sort of professional grade or higher grade fountain pens and then I have two student grade fountain pens. So the professional grade come in two basic models as I understand it. One being the Pro Gear and which is what this one is and then this is the 1911. So even though there are two different base models, they come in a variety of sizes. So this is the smallest version of the Pro Gear, and I believe that this is the smallest version of the 1911. I'm a little bit less certain about this one because I purchased it off of Amazon. I also purchased the Pro Gear off of Amazon, but this looks like a typical Pro Gear, whereas this one might be a little different. I believe it was a special edition. It was called On the Promenade. That's how it was sold. And I think it might have been just for the Japanese market, but bought directly from Japan via Amazon. So, um, but the two basic models that I am aware of is the 1911, which looks more like this, and then the Pro Gear. And like I said, they come in various sizes. Um, the largest in both, I believe, is called the King of Pens, and that is just a monster. I don't think that I would ever want to own that. And part of the reason why I don't have a lot of Sailor pens is they are relatively expensive, and that's part of the reason why I purchased these two off of Amazon. Um, I was able to purchase both of these under $100, which normally they run you know 150 200 300 when you get to things like the king of pens they get to be like four or five hundred dollars so that's a little pricey for me as a fountain pen user i'm kind of i'm inching my way up to sort of the mid-range pens at this point i'm past uh, beginner fountain pens but still um, I, I don't have a lot of disposable income to spend on pens so uh, and what what income I do spend on pens I want to make sure they're good pens and sailors are great so what I'm going to do um, I don't know if I mentioned already these are the two uh, student grade pens and this was a fairly recent addition to uh, the site on Yoseka Stationery. These both are the same, they're just different colors. One is red and one is a clear green. Uh, and I, I'm actually interested to see if these are different at all. They have the same nib size because there's only one nib size available. I think it's a, uh, it's a FM, which is a fine medium. So, um, and these are different sizes, which I'll go into when I open them up and test them out. So, as usual, I have a pad of Tomoe River paper and um, my desk. My desk is gathering all kinds of little crumbs and things because I'm using my home desk for more and more things since I'm working from home. And, you know, sometimes I snack at my desk, probably a little too much. I'm definitely going to need to um, start doing some serious working out before this quarantine is over. But I digress. So anyway, I'm just going to find the first page here that's blank and go ahead and do some writing samples. So I'll start with the with the student grade one. So we have that as sort of a baseline. I'm going to put these off to the side here. This is the first one I purchased, this red one. And these are very inexpensive for fountain pens. They're around $30. So this is the Sailor 1911 Junior. And then this ink is just the Sailor Black Cartridge that came with the pen. And it, it feels fairly stiff, the nib does, but it still has enough give to make me feel like there's not a ton of what we call feedback. Um, it's a comfortable writer and when it's posted, it's, it's a little light, but I think that's partially because of its student grade uh, materials. But uh, it doesn't feel so incredibly light that it feels like a super cheap pen. It's actually a fairly nice pen for a student grade. And then I'll try out the other one, because I'm curious to see. I haven't written them side by side, although this is a Sailor ink from a bottle that I have in here. So this is also, oh, that's going to be a little bit more difficult. 1911 Junior. 
And this is the Sailor. Oh, I can't remember the name, but it's it's the it's the color haha. -ha. And so this this is a relatively dry ink, so that could be the difference. This one feels a little bit scratchier when I write with it, but again, it should in theory be the same nib, but I feel like it's a little bit scratchier. It has a little bit more feedback. It's a little bit more stiff, but that could simply be a function of the type of ink. And as far as the quality of line, it looks relatively similar. Um, same nib size, obviously, but because of the ink, you're getting a little bit more shading on this one. Shading is just when ink doesn't lay down consistently. And there is a little bit of sort of a purplish tinge to this particular ink. Not sure you can see that very well on the camera there. Um, and this ink was actually sold out everywhere and I was only able to get a sample amount from Yoseka Stationery. So when they do, I really do like this color. I'm not sure I like it in this fine of a nib. Um, I would say that this airs on the side of more fine as a medium fine, but that's true of most Japanese fountain pens. Their nib sizes tend to run a little smaller. So I would probably like to have this haha -ha in a wider nib so that you can really see the variation. So let's go ahead and go on to the um, higher grade pens here. So like I said, this, is, this was called On the Promenade and it has this really pretty sparkly garnet colored body here. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and open it up and then I'll show you the nib. Oops, sorry. So this is a 14 karat, I believe it is a fine, does it say on here? I think it's a fine size nib, but I will make sure that I find that out and put it in the notes below, depending on what I find out. It actually is, I'm pretty sure it's a fine. So. Now see, this has a much softer nib, partially because it's gold probably, because gold nibs tend to be softer. So I'm just gonna call this Sailor on the Promenade 1911, question mark. And then again, this just has the cartridge that came with it, so Sailor black cartridge. And I've actually been writing with this one for a while, so the cartridge lasts a while, I suppose. I've been waiting to put a converter in it. You can put a converter in any of these. So these two have the cartridge that came in it, and then um, this one I put a converter in. You have to buy the converter separately, generally, um, but they're not too crazy expensive, and they have a pretty decent capacity. Okay, so then this is the Sailor Pro Gear, and this is part of their Four Seasons collection. Oops, sorry, I keep, I keep having issues figuring out where the camera is there. And then this one, I think, hmm, no, you know, okay, I think this one might be fine, and then this one might be medium. Although they look pretty similar, don't they? Let's see how this one writes. Again, I'll clarify that. They don't, they aren't labeled on the nib as to whether they're fine or medium, so I'll have to look that up in my order to see. So then this is the Sailor Pro Gear. Oops, Pro Gear. I always have trouble with cursive Gs with E's after them. Sailor Pro Gear, and again, this is just the Sailor black cartridge. Okay, so let's see. I'm gonna go through and do that with each of them as well. I would say of these four, and I, my guess would be this, this is the same nib type as this one. Um, of the four, I think the Pro Gear has a little bit of a softer feel. And this one is rather scratchy. 
and it just kind of shows you the difference in both ink and production on different nibs that are that are essentially the same okay so I think that's all I wanted to do today I don't have very many so uh, that is as short as the video is going to be and looking at the lines I think that this one is a little thicker so I would say that this one is probably a medium and this is probably a fine these both are medium fine or fine medium but again I will confirm that below and I think that's it for today. I'm gonna to close that up and then show you those. Someday I hope to have more Sailor fountain pens. Um, as far as what I consider to be my favorite fountain pens, I think that still, after trying a few different brands, that Twisby is still the best bang for your buck. Um, the Diamond 580s are obviously going to be closer to the price that I spent on um, these from Amazon, but the um, Ecos are about the same price as this, and I think they're a little bit better for your money, but that's just my advice. So that's it for today. Feel free to like and or subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.